Guide dogs and horses are now allowed at Baltimore Public Schools. The school board approved a new policy to recognize both dogs and miniature horses as service animals at all their facilities. Tracy Leong explains why it's not limited to the traditional guide dogs. For years, miniature horses have been used as therapy animals, and because they tend to live longer than dogs and they're very easy to train, it was only a matter of time before they were officially recognized as service animals. Yep, come on. Known for their gentle nature and desire to please, miniature horses possess the ideal qualities for a service animal and are now allowed to accompany students, employees, and visitors with a disability at all Baltimore City public schools and facilities. I'm surprised it's taken this long for it to take off. Um, I, I think that people think about horses in a very different way than they think about dogs, and that's why it's taken a little time. Deborah Hopkins breeds and raises miniature horses on her farm in Cecil County. She says these animals are highly capable of performing the skills of a traditional guide dog, but are more cost effective. A longer lifespan, um, so that training that you and that time and energy and money that you put into them will be put to use for a lot longer. Miniature horses tend to live about 35 years compared to dogs, who only live about 10 to 15. And recently, Hopkins has seen more interest in training these animals as guide horses. I'm, I'm just really, really excited that more and more people are recognizing the usability of these horses. The training time for a guide horse and the cost of care tends to be similar to the cost of a guide dog. Reporting in Cecil County, Tracy Leong, WJZ Eyewitness News. Miniature horses typically measure about 34 inches. They weigh about 200 pounds, and they are so cute. We need uh, one love to go in and out of this. My studio. great Pyrenees is <laughs> about that size. <laughs> I know. That's They're amazing. Very cute.